Where the hell do those last couple of minutes go to, I wonder? My test, uh, let me see, my imitation of a 500 pound canary. Derp! Derp! It's my, everybody's saying, what the fuck was that all about? I'll never know, and you'll probably never guess. Because I don't know if you're right or not. So that sounds pretty odd. Way to start a video tonight. That's not even. Wait till you see what I got lined up for you. Just imagine the year was 2017. And this was a suggestion. I'm horrible with names. I'm horrible with names, but I thought it was a good suggestion. And I can't remember. It was like 1,600 comments on the video. And I, I was thinking about it, such a great thing, but I kept reading on, because like I always do every night, read through all the comments. And uh, you can tell me if the audio is coming out, if it's lagging, I'll go back in and fix it. And Thomas uh, Schollerberger had made a suggestion, and I forgot about it, because you read so many comments. And Starlight last night uh, reminded me, which was pretty awesome, because uh, I was talking to a friend of mine today. <laughs> I was like... He was like, I don't know, Dan, if that's a good idea or not for you to be doing it. Because I might be a little bit too accurate. And you got to think about how the other side might want to use this kind of uh, forethought against us. So I said, well, instead of it being easy for them to do that, why not focus on their side of 2017 instead of our side? Because that's actually the way it looks when you start talking it out like we've done today. And so by 2017, i got to go check and make sure the audio is good. Hang on. I'm pretty slack here tonight. Two minutes into the stream, but I'm ready to go. That's quicker than five minutes into the stream, and I'm ready to go. And anybody don't know what's going on here, it usually takes a few minutes to get the stream sorted out. What's up, Albert? Hi, Pauline. Mr. Hemp. Hemi, Cats Alive, uh, Grey Rose Tint, Want to Be 24. I just want to see the comments. My audio is working. I should just throw on the video and find out myself. Hang on, one second. And I bet you now the comments will all be showing up. Because they don't show up on the inside unless I go to the video. Uh, that means i got to open up another stream, right? And let me get rid of that. Focus back on it. Here we go. Looking good. What's up? What's up? See, the comments are not showing up. All in sync. There you go. Okay. Audio is great. Thank you, Delene. Delena. I don't need this tonight to do what I'm going to do. So I might as well toss that back there out of the way. I want to keep it out there so I can keep... Because i got a tendency to look through. I've been doing this. I don't know how many days i actually been done it. I thought I'd count close to 90 but of these streams. So tonight we're going to look at the 2017 outlook for the planet. Why not? i got like 300 headlines i got to get to at some point, but not tonight. And so you can check out Thomas' site, T-H-O-M-A-S, and S-C-H-O-E-N-B-E-R-G-E-R. -E -E and he's a composer. He's got his uh, music, got some of his music up there. You can buy his music at his website. Uh, let's go. Let's roll. Let's rock and roll. What's it going to be tonight, eh? That's a hard one to think out, 2017. For some people, I already got that picked out in my mind a while back, what it's probably going to be like now. The suggestion was 2016. I'm going to move us all ahead an extra year. Because there's a lot that will take place in a year, trust me, as this breaks down. And the way I see it is, because of the failure of the system itself, uh, that's can't last much longer and they can't contain it 
and I don't see the anarchy quite uh, outside of up on the system itself. I don't see the anarchy amongst each other. I see it more as building a, a new foundation and a new way forward for society coming at us where we throw off the shackles of the oppressive inbreeds that have infested our infrastructure and our communities. And I think most people have to agree on that, except for the ones I'm talking about. <laughs> but they're the problem. We're the solution. Um, they don't matter. They, uh, you know, by 2017, I'll be drowned out uh, by the screaming that'll be going on. And what I kind of see around the world is I see uh, some countries are going to close their borders, Iceland probably. Great Britain doesn't care because it actually got uh, 8 million liters a day running along its coastlines. And so every time it rains in London and everywhere else, that's uh, low-level radiation. As if that country wasn't, Great Britain wasn't destroyed enough. I see by 2017, either Rockefeller, Rothschild, Queen Elizabeth, hopefully Prince Philip, uh, but in a way you got to realize uh, of old age because they're so old, that when they die, that the pact with the devil might get unleashed upon this planet. And I don't see that work in the way they were hoping anymore. I see the planet now is too educated and there's not enough of them to hold it back. And I see the people turning on the system itself and I, you know, I had this vision for quite a while now of the people just snapping. And you've probably heard me say it many times. Because we have a, the government was supposed to protect people, to look out for people, to do the right thing for people. And the Environmental Protection Agency grandfathered in 65,000 chemicals. And no environmental human impact studies on it. Then the GMO uh, with no uh, calcium, no potassium, no magnesium, no iron, no minerals in it, all engineered out. And so the idea was to engineer the same food uh, and put some tweaks in it to make it grow better and a little bit resistant for insects. Instead what they done was they engineered all the nutrition out of it, engineered toxins into it, five uh, in a typical we used to eat 8,500 plants, now we eat seven. And 85% of minimum of your supermarkets, and the rest of us contaminated with something else, pesticides and everything else. I mean, when you bring cereal into your country, it might have been natural, but to get it across the border, they got to spray it with pesticides to keep the invasive uh, species out. Uh, so it still gets contaminated. You always got to remember stuff like that. And it's very hard stuff they'll do. And nobody really knows what they're up to. And let me keep on track here. And because of all of this, we're seeing a breakdown right now. But because this leaves you vulnerable uh, for the radio fallout, the radio, the radioactive fallout that I covered a couple of nights ago in the rain for a whole hour, how it rained up to 20 million Beckwolds per liter, per liter. Now the rain doesn't just drop a liter. And so there's repercussions in a very short while for that much radioactivity in large cities and large areas like California and very populated areas where people do sit in the grass all the time, where people are gardening all the time, where people are exposed and breathing in the toxins all the time. Uh, you can't escape it anyway, but that's where the heavy folly ran, Phil. And now we know Seattle and San Francisco, but Seattle had, were breathing in minimum of 10 buckyballs, hot particles, a day for, for quite a long time. This was a snowstorm from the jet streams down. I have to paint a picture for everybody to make sure we're on the same page. And that snowstorm... Uh, gave so many people cancer just in that little period. Just unbelievable amount of people. And so those effects are going to show up 
at the same time. Right through the age ranges. This is what makes it extraordinary. But the young children who are the most vulnerable, uh, the epidemic is already here, but they, they can't hold it back much longer. And there's a lot of animosity right now against Hollywood because they steal the nutrients from hospitals that are actually meant for premature babies uh, for, for their beauty treatments. And that's a dirty secret, but there's actually an epidemic of shortage of nutrients. And it's because the, the parents who might earn a lot of money, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, still buy their foods at the grocery shop and because they ate the GMO. Now, because this is all breaking in the last couple of years, and because we got the radiation that's coming in, and because of the GMO, everybody is vulnerable. The way I see it, we're going to see serious issues in the next year, this year, by the end of 2014. But by, the, by 2017, we can't hide away from it anymore. I kind of picture it um, where it snaps, and then the first wave goes out, and it takes out the government and takes out the police. Uh, and I actually can, can see that happening by 2017. That's in America because they got millions, 300 million handguns, millions of rifles, and millions. And they're not going to go shooting each other. Oh, no. They're going to go looking for the officials that should have done their job. And so the police are going to abandon it. They can't contain that. Look at how that works in countries where the law and order breaks down. It's different in America. The Americans are, are uh, they're not they're not stupid in that sense. They've been at war forever. The the small amount of police in the country, the National Guards and stuff like that, are going to have a hard time firing on them. But they're not going to have a hard time firing on the police because the police have been tyrannical now. And each year to get a little bit more out of control, never held accountable. Uh, on purpose, they're supposed to be the fall guy. They're set up to take that. Right? That's, there's a betrayal all around. It's going to be like the Night of the Long Knives, I think, before 2017. I say by 2016 that'll take place where there's going to be an all-out slaughter against the governments. I see that for Japan, too. I, start, I see people getting strung up now. That's why I've been saying it lately. At Japanese, uh, where the Japanese governments and mayors are always... Uh, They've said, you know, to people so many times, but they became indifferent. They don't have uh, emotions, you know, where they say, well, you know, your kid never died of radiation. But they know that there's millions of becquerels per square meter in their community, but they keep denying it. And I just see a bunch of parents finally starting to string them up. And then we have copycats, and you can't blame them. And that becomes contagious. I see that. A long while back, that's why I probably say it all the time, is because I see that. That's going to happen. You can't keep poisoning people and use them as a guinea pig. This day and age, when people are... This is different, right? In the last seven years in particular. That's what makes it different, where the price of and the quality of computers have crunched down to smartphones. And it's amazing how many people that just five or six years ago are extremely articulate on whatever subject you want to be right now. That's that's a phenomenon. and But it's permeating throughout society, even in the poorest parts of the world, even though they're not connected per se. Only 2 billion people are connected to the Internet, 5 billion are not. Uh, they're, they're still not stupid. They're still able to get some connections to the Internet. They're just not connected all the time. And they're able to get the information that they need for their daily lives. And a lot of functions in their lives they can't do without an internet connection, and so they all travel distances. Uh, but what it means, though, is we've never seen a society with so many people so astute, so um, capable, and so uh, they absorb things so readily and so quickly. I've seen that acceleration throughout society now over the last number of years, I think. That's my opinion, anyway. The more connected people are, the more they're able to to, to quit uh, to quench that thirst of that concept or idea or that subject, and there's closure with that. When I was growing up, there was no such thing as being able to connect. There was no computers anyway. There was no cable TV. There was just eight track uh, and record players. 
But there was eight tracks. But you remember the old eight tracks in the cars? Great big old eight tracks. Some people that do will remember that. But that was a big deal. That was the first mobility music. But now we have a society that is spoiled and feels that it's uh, what's the word for it? Entitled. Because they've been lulled into it. I mean, that's how they took over the jungles. And so what you see, this austerity that's re reverberating throughout this planet right now is a planned collapse, pre-collapse, in order to suck up as much money, cause as much controversy in each country. And they want to be able to come in and steal the natural resources before the radioactive fallout. So by 2017... A liter of water, pure water, will probably be a thousand bucks. A liter of gas will probably be a hundred bucks. If this goes the way I think it's going to go. Because instead of uh, taking all of our institutions and universities and trying to solve some of the issues, we lock everything away and we poison our, you know, our very own, the very people who pays for every all the politicians and the government's wages, they're allowing a handful of corporations to poison us with genetically modified food. And that food don't allow you to uptake it. And people at this point right now, because this is so important because it's going to create all those cancers. Because people can't uptake the nutrients to fight the cancers. And that's why we're seeing the acceleration because we have generations of people now that have grown up eating genetically modified food. It's not really food. It's a different creature. It looks like food. But uh, GMO products are not actually food. They don't meet. They don't meet the definition of food. So a genetically modified corn has no no potassium, no magnesium, no uh, calcium. You know, none of the major ingredients that is uh, typical of corn. And corn is a major staple of mom, of most things you buy at a supermarket right now. Uh, amazing. You know, even snacks. It's used in feed. Uh, but it has all of its own issues too. And so what I thought we thought was they were going to blame uh, the radiation debts on cell phones or blame the radiation debts on bad GMO product. Uh, but your system, see, once again, the knowledge is coming out how they, fit, how they knew about the radiation and never told anybody and how they got all the nutrients out of their foods, out of their supplements, out of their baby food, out of their pet food, out of their pharmaceuticals, and replaced it with toxins, which made them really ill and forced a lot of people already to liquidate their assets to stay alive for a little while longer. And so I see the system breaking down, um, mainly because the cancers that are showing up and going to show up and the premature deaths that are accelerating and the studies showing how the insidious part is you can't see, you can't hide away uh, from 235 mile an hour winds that tore apart the Philippines, the 44 provinces. And you can't hide away, even though they're doing a pretty good job of it right now, Tongas, uh, how those 8,000 people got a 100 mile wide F4 tornado. Uh, F3 tornado visited up on them in the form of what they call a cyclone, but they hit it out of the media. Uh, 178 uh, miles per hour sustained winds, and I think it's 287 kilometers an hour sustained winds. And they're trying to muddle the water, but I got all the clips. It's That's what it was. Uh, so 178 mile an hour winds is like the Philippines where the air become projectiles. And we just need a, I say, boy, before. 2016, uh, Vancouver, Canada, or California, I think, are going to get taken out by an F5 tornado that's 200 miles wide, and that when it hits land, it sustains 300 plus miles an hour minimum. And of course, I backed that up repeatedly in the last 80 plus shows here, uh, night after night. Uh, by saying that the gammas, the betas, alphas, the energy of of uh, radiation that has been released into the environment, in particular the ocean, daily, daily, is a cu is cumulative, and but it doesn't stop creating that energy for another 4.5 billion years. Because every time you hear 131, 
you got to think about it's uranium and plutonium that reactors run on. You know, iodine is just one of the products. Wherever there's iodine uh, 131, there had to be iodine 129 with a 15 million year half life because it's 3 to 1 in the production of those isotopes. 3 iodine 131 and then iodine 129. And so 20 million Beckwolds is 5 million Beckwolds of iodine 129 with a half life of 15 million years that was falling on California, right? That's the math. So 5 million Beckwells. Forget about uh, 15 million Beckwells of cesium one or iodine-131. That, by the way, turns to iodine-132. That gets absorbed into your body uh, nine times more effectively ionizes your thyroid. And so when all the parents right, and the Facebooks and families and the chats, the barbecues and everything over the next couple of years are working their way out there. How the government knew that was there and never even told them to stay indoors and how the government knew that all these people would probably get cancer and never even uh, gave out DCA pills and put uh, engineered more protein or more calcium and magnesium and potassium into your food you know this combination of evilness is going to backfire up on them but they're not actually the ones you really want to blame the architects are much further up and they're not going to get forgotten and their idea by 2017 their fantasy of perpetual war and ruling this planet is going to be broken forever not not even possible anymore because society, even their own employees, will turn their backs on them at this stage. They won't have the robots are not here yet, and it's too soon for what they were trying to do. Fukushima blew the lid off it. They've been releasing so much radiation on the planet that's starting to come out now. We're hearing them talk about forty-five thousand drums that have been dumped off uh, San Francisco, thirty kilometers off that coastline of Yellow Cake. And, uh, you know, a, a, a piece of that yellow cake the size of a banana will kill me before I can finish the sentence, but a banana can never kill me. You can fill the building up with bananas. It's like water because these lies don't work no more. They say it's natural uranium in the ocean. That lie doesn't work no more or it's not going to much longer because the natural radiation in the water has nothing to do with uranium-234 and 235 that came out of Fukushima. That's what everybody is worried about, whether they realize it or not. Ultimately, that's where they end up if they take a little look. 238. And then the cancers, they're trying to hold it back in Fallujah and other places. And all of this agony and misery they've been running on the planet, they get away with it through this network known as false flags. But every time now that there's even something that even remotely resembles a false flag, you go to the comment section and there's a thousand comments to one, people calling it a false flag. This is bullshit, boring. No one, no one uh, can pull the wool over their eyes. But five years ago, if you said the word false flag, everybody told you to shut your mouth. Right? That's a fact, because I used to do it. Now, like I made a video about it there last year, where I was like, uh, what's the sense of me even making a video? Because everybody in every comment section, in every video, in every story called it a false flag. And that's what I'm trying to mean by the paradigm is broken. Because they've been doing that for thousands of years. is staging an event and blaming it on the enemies that they want to create to get the public to support them. Vietnam, the Gulf of Tonkin was like that. Uh, the captain said if they shoot out, shot at a boat out there, at anything out there, it was probably a whale because there was no boats out there to be shot at uh, when they say the Gulf of Tonkin happened. The official story was that Navy ships were attacked by Vietnamese warships or just fast boats and then the Americans president came out and said we got to go support our troops we're under attack and of course the Americans said yeah rah 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 and then they chemtrailed Vietnam for nine years with uh, a dioxin known as Agent Orange dioxin is banned on this planet uh, because it's so toxic and I just see this whole mess about Fukushima keep trying to keep on track here but Fukushima you know I'm surprised it lasted as long as it has but I see all the indications now that it's just going to take a tweet 
from some superstar or the death of a bunch of them um, like that tornadoes that tore apart the Philippines or a tornado that tore apart that's that they say is a cyclone but go look it up you know go look up the video up below about the Philippine carnage where I used clips of them all talking about 235 mile an hour gust and 200 sustained 195 mile an hour sustained through 44 provinces it leveled everything I mean, I covered my bases like I always do. And now Tonga, I still have to share it with everybody, but I was showing Ratcher today, and he said, Dan, I haven't seen nothing like it that in the media anywhere. I said, no. That's why I got it all there in the folder the other morning. Tracy May left a comment. And so I went down that path, but I still uh, haven't finished. I'll probably do that tonight, group and source the rest of it. And so we just need one more of them. And we don't. Have, we won't have to worry about 2017. We'll have to worry about 2014. Because uh, when the next one strikes, it's coming our way. Because as the plume moves up the coastline, right now it's meeting uh, so-called freshwater, and so it's it's, it's uh, dissipating itself a little bit. But as the toxicity of the water passes us, then both sides of you become. You know, four percent radioactive, say, of water. Four percent, because uh, mox fuel that is hemorrhaging out of that place and hemorrhaged out when all and not not counting the pools are millions of times more deadly again because they went f through the chain reaction, right? Once you went through the nuclear reaction, the processing, the enrichment. And even though you, it's now what they call spent fuel, is actually two million times worse than when they put it in there. But that stuff is, they took about 20,000 uh, warheads, nuclear warheads from uh, Soviet Russia, Soviets, Russia, uh, and Americans, and they milled them down to even more refined. So they took what was already nuclear warheads, refined it down, packed it into 12 foot rods, put 40 rods in a bundle, put 1,535 bundles. Uh, in a pool, but the reactors, if I remember correctly, are 3,450 bundles, is that right? If I remember correctly. But anyway, you know, it's this stuff alone, nothing else matters. I mean, each of the, that reactor is two million times worse, number three, than any other reactor on the planet that's hemorrhaging in the ocean. So all this stuff that's going in the ocean um, is going to create more of these storms. But it's also all the death plumes that came in and the fact of the GMO that nobody had nutrients in their body and that the vulnerable were allowed to walk out when it was spiking. And I got links below to studies from Health Canada where they went up and documented it, but that just got released. They documented it on the 19th and the 20th of March on a Friday when all the children were going to school and coming home and never bothered to tell them it was a snowstorm of hot radioactive particles right from the sea floor or the shore all the way up to the jet streams. And they flew for 18 hours taking samples. And so all these lies are coming out from all different angles and because there's a lot of articulate uh, going on out there now where people understand the big picture finally. And we have uh, 2,000 pictures down below to back it up. We have the FOIA uh, releases down below to back it up. We have a documented history. Now uh, we have uh, we have a lot of people in the media that are waking up, and they can't say none, but they're waking up. And some of these, one of them, all it takes is to get fired and then tweet out Fukushima stuff, or a celebrity loses a child because of Fukushima radiation, or something like that is going to be a catalyst. Or the government, uh, you know, California's got the driest year on drought. So what, what's going on in California is they're stuck with no fresh water to dilute all the radiated water they got there. That's some twisted stuff. And we know they were pulling out all the water out of uh, California for the last number of years. That's been documented where they're towing these big half a million gallon uh, bladders like 15 at a time behind a tugboat across uh, the ocean to Japan or China. That's apparently where it's supposed to be going. So they were stealing all the water before it got 
radionucleoids, uh, radioactive atoms, and stuff like that. And so that's going to be very precious soon. The very, very precious, uh, very expensive in the very, very near future, because uh, this is real. This is this is beyond imagination. Where, you know how I done that video the other night about uh, rainfall, and every one of the media right around the planet that reported on it said uh, iodine 131. Never, not one single time have they mentioned it was three to one. So 20 million becquerels disintegrations a second per liter of rainfall that falls in your community. It doesn't just fall by the liter. Means a lot of cancers because five million becquerels per second every second that that rain is falling is accumulating is cumulative so it's five million becquerels 10 million becquerels 20 million becquerels 30 million becquerels of the iodine 129 which has a 15 million year half-life but we got model after model after model after model of the jet streams death streams depositing massive amounts on the california it seems to be a dispersal it spreads out through the entire northern hemisphere so everybody was getting this cancer at the one time and the ones that don't know any better that don't get these narratives and that's a lot of them the majority of them obviously will get this narrative at some point i will get drowned out at some point and what's going to happen is it's going to be snap crackle and pop looking for revenge anger but there's going to be the fear there because the people who knew what they were doing has this fear right now and that's why they're trying to create the police state that just can't do the job it just can't work it just never it can never work they're they're no match for what's going to come down this pipe and so by 2017 you will have a, um, a society that is recreating itself behind carnage i think I don't think people want to live in a future where, because we have the ability to take back our future. We have the ability to engineer potassium and calcium and magnesium back into our foods. As bizarre as that sounds, as bizarre as it sounds to me saying those words, we actually have the ability. Yeah, control water, control mankind. Hi, Annabeck. I say hi to a few people. Missing Sky. Kurt Sakai. Let me take a break for a second. Uh, because I, I, I almost finished it too quick. 32 minutes, so I better slow down a bit. I'll say hi to a few people for a second. Wings for a window. Widow. Uh, cats alive. Troll alert. Um, that's okay. We'll deal with it. Just spam them, just keep spam, don't worry about it. You can't get away from the trolls. I see society not as a society anymore. That if this happens, I don't see gangs living anymore. I, I see people shooting them while they're at it. I see the thugs out there getting hunted down right away in a, almost like a purge, I guess. But not, but a, not another control purge, never, never ever do I see the near future look like Hollywood movies and dystopia and uh, plutopia what I, what I see is society goes on but we we ended up with no option but to take our um, to take our country or planet back from just a small fraction that is no match that are chickens that are cowards that are the architects and engineers uh, only by design, not by uh, consensus, you know. And they're, they can't survive in the future that's coming. There is, you know, there's so many people out there that today are capable of running the entire planet themselves. You can elect almost anybody out there and they could probably run this planet. That's extraordinary. This is an extraordinary time we live in. It's an extraordinary time... And they understand that part of it. They have think tanks, just like what we're doing here tonight in that sense. But they're never willing to put all that stuff that we talk about, the real pertinent, the actual factual stuff, into the equation. And you got to have it into the equation. 
you know we we live we're, we're living in a pretty amazing time and we could do so much better if we had had those 4800 peer review studies like say you know if i was president of the planet well tomorrow when those 4800 peer review studies are published well i want all of those to work on solar power all those institutions are going to get grants and they're going to work on solar power and then the next day when I get up, I have a little press conference. Well, today when those 4,800 peer review academic studies are published, I'm going to have uh, grants going out to those universities. They're going to get them anyway. But their job is going to be putting nutrition back in the food to take the toxins out of the food. What a novel idea. I know. Brilliant. I know. I never slept all night. I was scratching on paper and on walls. And I was like, I got it. We put... Nutrition back in the food. Ha ha ha. Ho ho. Brilliant. Nobody thought of that one. Nobody. I'm right. Remember, Dana thought of that first. <laughs> and the sign of good fate, I'll give everybody out their DCA tablets every day for free. Right? And we'll start to restore our government. Instead of having a big bureaucracy, we're only going to tax the corporations. And then corporate personhood disappears immediately. And any company that breaks the law after that to go to jail, we cannibalize their companies and we use it to pay restitution, to pay outstanding debts. Now, I don't know how I went down that path, but the next day, I would take those 4,800 peer review studies that were published. I would talk, I would say, give all those professors and their students and their universities money, and I want them to work on how we can uh, help the ocean. So that day, 4,800 universities and their students went to work on trying to solve some of the riddles that we need to solve. And so now we're up to Thursday. Thursday, I got up and I got 4,800 universities, their students, to go to work on building sarcophagus to put this stuff in. And when I got up the next day, I got 4,800 universities working to build robots to deal with so no more humans, no more homeless, no more vulnerables. And so let me go back to 2017 predictions, because I don't know why I've done that, but that's how I would do it anyway. But my prediction, because that won't happen, because we're dealing with uh, a system that is so far down the rabbit hole itself, it's terrified that you're going to find out. It's horrified, mortified, that their own loved ones will find out what they're doing, what they've done. They look at their own children realizing that they poison them for a paycheck because they don't have any morals and because it was easy money. And even looting the system uh, doesn't make them feel good anymore because they know that will get taken away from them in a few years. I see the hopelessness of the system itself now. I see it for a pathetic shell that it is and for a shell game that it is. I see the elites as getting dug out of their fox holes in the future there is no containment for them even getting off the planet we're going to fire rockets at them there's nowhere they can hide in space we got rockets can take them out okay and we have the ability and the skill just in the civilian population because we run the show we control the show if we want to we're a thousand to one no matter how many of them there is they don't have righteousness on their side they don't have that on their side at all. They have a paycheck. And there's only certain things they will do for a paycheck. There's only certain things that's accessible to them anyway as a collective. So we have collective behind us, but they don't. They have us. And if we don't do our job, if they want to put out emergency broadcasting of martial law, imagine if the population says, no, fuck you, you can't use my network. If everybody doesn't cooperate, they can't do that. They can't mass uh, contact everybody without our participation. And so by 2019, they won't have that. 2017, they won't have that participation anymore. I don't think we're avoid. The governments around the world are showing every indication that they're trying to loot the systems itself and that they're trying to come up with all kinds of laws and police states that can't work, won't work, and it's only meant to keep people off balance temporarily while they loot the system. But they're hoping they can escape somewhere and that they can have a little military to protect them. That's not going to work either. 
It's really not. There's 2,000 uh, biological facilities in America. This goes down. No matter what island they go to, they're going to get bombarded with stuff like that anyway. People are going. People are going to lose it. There's a lot of people out there that will go after this system. The majority of them will hate them once they find out. I've seen it. People, every single time almost, people get angry and want to go throttle the government when they find out about it. Every single time. Uh, we had 1,500 in March here today, but not about Fukushima, but about uh, Furies. That's amazing, and they're really upset. And there was nobody got in their way, okay? They were upset. And that's what I mean. It's just people are so smart now. They're so indignant now. And the system is so afraid of them now because they're trying to hold on to what they hope is a pension. But that's not going to be here by 2017. All of that, the bottom is going to fall out of it. Because as this breaks over the next year and a half, we might not even get that far before the bottom falls out of it. But by, I'm looking at 2017 breakdown of systems, but not breakdown of society. I'm looking at, I see a rejection of the system. And I see a new system come into place of, um, that's necessary. We still have that among us. We still have that ability. We still have our neighbors. We still have that kind of fantasy that, you know, we can go back to being an industrialized nations. But we have to learn how to live and cope. And that's what I mean, you know. It's that simple. If the system was to try to deal with it now and at the same time engineer the toxins out of our food because they were never there and engineer nutrients back in our food because they used to always be there and start handing out DCA tablets which reduce all tumors by 70% and never hurt a living cell, only attack cancer cells and bad cells they don't hurt real cells. That would be a sign of good fate. We might be, you know, we still got to cannibalize the government itself. It's beyond control, see? But I can't see anybody joining the military and going to war because of the radiation, see? It's not like a terrorist attack. That's not going to work against us. A false flag won't work against us anymore. They're not going to be able to rally the support of a nation. They're not going to be able to take it. They're not going to be able to maintain it and hold on to it. Because the common people actually run the show. They're the ones behind the machines. And there's not enough of them. They'll get annihilated by the first wave if they try to resist the restructuring of our planet. Uh, the elites are finished. And that's why they're doing what they're doing. But unfortunately, they're cowards. And it won't work because they can't do it themselves. And they're dependent on me and you to kill ourselves. That's not going to work anymore. Everybody wants to deal with the issues now and get on with the future. We're tired of the endless wars. We're tired of the endless manipulation. And no one even cares about media anymore. They have lost uh, the paradigms that they were using to control the majority. The rest don't matter. They'll get taken out too if there's a resistance. But most of these people will wake up when they get another narrative. Probably not like the nights, because tonight was over the hinge night. I'm just trying to give a little, and I agree with the idea, it's a good concept to try to look at with 2017. And I was going to do this a few times, but I've always been hesitant to say a lot of the things I'm gonna, I am said. But that would only be in the context of I included other things that I thought about that I didn't say tonight that I won't say. Because I'm afraid that could be used against the generations, against people as just to delay the restructuring that we're going to have to do. We have to get rid of the government. Corporations have to go. Uh, they have to be held accountable, prosecuted, swift and righteous. we got to stop prosecuting the most vulnerable of societies, marginalizing, victimizing the taxpayers who pay all the bills. And the systems was never meant to go the way that it did. It was meant to stay, you know, where everybody paid a little bit of taxes, but the corporations took the brunt. And that way, the government never got very big because it never had too much money. And it had some kind of checks and balances. You know, 
The militia was supposed to be used to go in and replace your government. Not violently, but if necessary. But they were supposed to know everybody in the community. And so if your government became corrupt, the militia was 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 to by vote of the community, the people themselves, had the power and still do to go in and replace the local government with responsible people to fulfill their jobs until they hired somebody to replace them. So in other words, the community was empowered to restructure its own local government. If they start growing too big, their job was to go in, take over, say, no, you hire too many people, you're stealing all of our money, that can't work, you're going to bankrupt the community, you're gone, we're going to have you arrested, now pick all your stuff up, go home, we'll have the police come by and charge you with, with uh, fraud. And no good trying to leave town, kind of, you know what I'm saying, where everybody knows everybody in the town? That was one of the ways you did, they looked at it, and the corporations paid the taxes. And because everything went the way it did, right, even without the radiation, couldn't sustain itself by 2017 anyway. But the GMO uh, hoax, that can't hold itself much longer because so many people are getting sick because they're not getting no nutrition. The baby's food is GMO, for goodness sakes. It's got no nutrition. It's the most, that's the most sickest creatures on the planet. Your supermarkets that are selling to you the same stuff or just as sick and didn't have the radiation and so that affects you so much harder so much more uh, faster and then instead of coming out and saying getting everybody iodine tablets to deal with some of it but really giving them DCA to deal because it's completely innocuous to the body so just in case you might have got uh, hot particles they, they should be giving you DCA every day and that way the cancer and the tumors can't grow in your body. But they should be giving you nutrition in your food so you can fight off all kinds of other issues like diabetics, like, uh, uh, you know, because a GMO also makes people obese. Um, and so I rambled on, I know, for a long time that time. But I was trying to have a bit of fun with it. Kind of, sort of, almost. And uh, it turned out to be a serious conversation for 46 minutes on my side and I never said hi to anybody so I'll just spend a few minutes as we wind down I see the, and I'll just end it on this part here before I, I say goodbye to everybody because I forgot because I had this vision anyway was that the future is sustainable for us but not for them there, I think there's a future for us but we got to deal with the, whatever happened to the Philippines and Tonga 235 mile an hour gusts, 195 mile an hour winds, an F4 tornado with 100 mile an hour that we've never seen on planet Earth before, that shouldn't even be on the planet, should only be on other planets. And uh, now we had exact one just like it at Tonga six days ago. And it, it was the same kind of storm. It lifted up the ocean, caused the floodings. 178 sustained wind right through the entire be you its islands in the middle of nowhere between Fiji and New Zealand. Uh, but it's devastating that the media never mention it because those winds are extraordinary, even at 178. You can't do anything in 100 mile an hour winds. You can't hang on to your loved ones at 150. And these people had a big warning. So there was apparently only one person killed that they know about. These people all went in a shelter uh, but everything is destroyed. 70% of all the homes are destroyed. The other 30% are, de are destroyed too, but the frames are still standing. That's going to show up in California next. That's going to show up in Vancouver probably. I think California is going to get it probably sooner than later because they have so much isotope on there. The isotopes increases the storm because the isotopes putting out all this energy at 270,000 miles an hour. Right, and so the storm, if you got 20 million becquels of this per liter in a storm, that's why you can see those uh, cyclones got up to 235 mile an hour and sustained that even on land because it was full of energy. It was full of energy. It really truly was. And if you were to look at that with certain frequencies, you would see it glow because it had so much energy. These are extraordinary folks. And it's a very bad sign of what's coming to the entire Pacific because it's hemorrhaging out into the ocean. 
But the Philippines was a little bit worse, I think, because the typhoon, two typhoons converged on Japan, and Japan is contaminated at 300,000 becquerels per square meter, and so it picked up all this extra radiation, you know, through the moisture, through the evaporation. And once again, think about California with 20 million becquerels, 5 million becquerels per liter of rainwater, 5 million becquerels per second of that rain, every second was another 5 million becquels of iodine-239. And there had to be uranium, there had to be plutonium, there had to be strontium because of the magnitude of Fukushima. If you don't know all about Fukushima, I got a video below, a special one, units 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the ocean and the jet streams in a 22 minute package for everybody to help you get on the same page because this is a thousand and forty five days ago this has been hemorrhaging into our ocean and it gets picked up by clouds and dragged all around the coastline on top of that by tens of thousands of miles so we'll say good night night hi James Bogey yeah hang the bastards now hi Huma loves being yeah you just got the DCA good stuff more people gotta find it it's a natural mineral mineral because you don't need a, a far, you don't need a prescription. It's been used exotic on all kinds of exotic uh, diseases, and there's no adverse side effects. And it reduces all tumors by seventy percent. There's a link below, two studies about it that have been repeated repeatedly, and that that still stands true. People don't want you to know about cures. You might see people attack me whenever I talk about this. Go check out the link below, and you'll find out that this is does what it says it does it reduces the tumor it doesn't harm your other cells incredible difference than stuff that kills all your cells and hopes you survive after okay we got um dave thanks dave lunar mickey yeah the philippines is something i got a link below philippine carnage to get people started hi annie beck hi joe thank you joe james 42, James Boogie, Miss Milky the Clown, hi honey, Moments Nothing More, Candace, there you go, uh, Grey Rose Tint, Huma again, Silva, Annie Beck, Phoenix Custom, Marcus, Delena, Albert, Cats Alive, Ketzer, Lori, thank you, Angela, Titbrook, uh, Marcus, Bob Smith, Julie Wirt. Uh, missed somebody that time. <laughs> Whenever Alina hit, it gets a little weird for me. Yeah, missed all kinds of Lisa. Uh, 333, uh, 5252. Yeah, sure. There you go. Stacy Lane, hi Stacy, I missed you last couple of nights to say hi to you. Aqua, Damoc, David Harrison, Knight Rider, uh, oh my, Kate, Yasil, Franz, Michael, so you got lots of folks here tonight. Penny, Rob, Sydney, that's awesome. Missing Sky again, Sylvia, Elizabeth, oh, I'm not going to get to everybody, loves being, oh, Diver Dude. Wings for Widow, there you go, pretty good, pretty good, I'll enjoy reading all this after. It was just a little thank you Nikita, and Star, Fire, Goal, Pam, Friends, Julie, Troy, that's, I'll come in and read everybody's comments in a little bit. Um, tomorrow night I'm going to cover about 60 headlines that I think are important and kind of puts a whole lot more contextual to Fukushima and the radioactive fallout. About 15 of them uh, are going to be rain, a rainfall and becquels. And I just want to go down that road one more time with everybody to make sure everybody's on that right page. I organized the day, but I decided to do this video tonight instead. So we'll do that tomorrow. And uh, it's Saturday. What else was I wanted to cover before I forgot about it? Hang on a second. Just give me one second. Michael Han. Greg. Hi, Greg. Yeah, good night, all.
I guess I have to cover it tomorrow night because I can't remember it. I'll just open up that folder real quick. Yeah, well, I'll get it tomorrow night, I guess. That's all we can do. I'll come back in. I guess the stream was looking okay tonight. I changed all the settings again with the Adobe. I'm not sure. It's like a surprise each night. You're welcome, Greg, David, Dwayne, Lisa, uh, WV, Dave. Nice to see all your folks. I'm looking forward to your comments after. Even after these videos go up, I still like to come in and check and see if anybody come in with any new stuff, any fun stuff. And like I said, I caught it last night. So we had a from Thomas, and I'll find his link and stick it below. Um, there's links below also to a whole bunch of people, so you can get different narratives, different perspectives. There's peer review studies also there. There's all kinds of stuff there, at least to get you started. And I got other videos up there. Uh, I got to put a collection, I guess. I'm going to have to start with a playlist on my page for Fukushima videos. I don't know why I haven't got that done, but just so everybody could get a chance to grab stuff and find stuff that I think are okay. So I should do that soon. And outside of that, um, you know, if you get depressed, if you get worried, if you get sick because you can't deal with it, there's a whole bunch of music on my front page of original artists. And you're probably not going to like every song, but you're going to like a lot of them, a lot. These are original songs. And these songs have no memories for you. And so when your m mind is lost and you're having a hard time collecting your thoughts, I suggest you go listen to a song that you've never heard before that I've already vetted. And that is cute, if not really cool. And these artists, if they're not perfect now, they will be in the near future. And that's why they're my favorites. A lot of them have been uh, deleted by Google and themselves and so I think there's a treasure there but there's a way for you to escape that I use all the time where I listen to music I've never heard before and it doesn't have any memories attached to it and it you know music lights up 19% of your brain and it allows you to escape and I do that all the time in every day of my life I don't listen to any corporate music I don't need to I got a few thousand artists on my page and each one of them got all kinds of music up on their site. So if I like them, I can go listen to more of their music. It doesn't cost me a nickel. I don't make nothing out of this. You find them. You go to their sites. And you can actually buy most of their albums. Um, it's mostly innocent music, sensible music. And uh, I adore every one of them. Just like I do you folks. Just like I do like we do what we do here every night. We do it on purpose. We do it to show that we don't care about their nonsense anymore we're here to try to rally people to break free of that paradigm and to understand that there is a future but they have to take charge they have to take control they have to hold them accountable in their own little worlds because collectively we are an unbelievable machine and we can beat this all we got to do is put our heart and our souls behind them you know that's the way i'm starting to feel for sure we we are the power, not them. They're nothing. They're scum. They're not even... I'm not going to say it because I never swore very much to my so <laughs> It's an unusual video for Dana. Okay, Laurie. Make is looking. Lunar. Angela. Cats alive. 57 minutes. We're gone. We'll catch you folks tomorrow night. We had a good stream tonight, but looks of it. Wow, good stuff. Okay, we'll talk you after.